Hi, Madonna, United Kingdom. Uh, my name is Kevin Stay. I was in the uh, Blonde Ambition Tour, uh, as well as uh, Truth or Dare, the Vogue video, MTV Music Awards, uh, where we did Vogue. Um, I was the associate choreographer, as well as the dance captain uh, and dancer as well. Um, so it's a pleasure for me to answer some of your questions. Um, first, I have here, uh, can you tell me how you got first got interested in dance and have you got any early memories? Oh my gosh, well yes, I do have early memories because I got started really, really late. Um, I was uh, in Singapore going to school and I had taken gymnastics when I was growing up and I started um, uh, doing a gymnastics show that involved dance. That was my first experience with that and it seemed to go over really, really well. Um, I did a couple little things where, with no training um, little shows here and there, Fiddler on the Roof, that sort of thing. And then I went home over the summer and saw the Janet Jackson Nasty video. I said, what? I can do that? That's amazing. How hot, sexy, wow. So I taught it to myself in the mirror. And I performed it at school. Um, yeah, so it was, uh, uh, it was a moment of like, I can do that. It's not so hard. What, that looks simple. That's, that's, that's amazing. And I want to, I want to learn it. Um, and then the rest sort of fell in place. People kept asking me to do, do shows and I just kept saying yes. And even though they were like, uh, you know, I had no training at all. Um, I loved doing it. And the response I got was really good. I got, a, I got some attention for it. I guess maybe that is what sort of guided me there first. Um, so I like some attention <laughs> every now and then. Um, I have so many early memories of dance. I remember even doing, you know, my first, like, Shanae, my first pirouette, my first kick. I remember all of it because um, I was, you know, 18 when I took my first class. Um, by the time I was 19 and a half, I was on the road with Madonna. It's pretty crazy. Um, so, yes, you too at 18 can still, <laughs> still work and still do it. Um, did you study drama at school, and did you know you wanted to be successful when you were growing up? I mean, doesn't everybody want to be successful when they're growing up? Don't they want to know that one think that someday they'll be successful? Um, I did not study drama. I did not study dance. Um, I took my first dance class when I was, I guess, 17 and a half, I guess maybe, at the, at the beginning of uh, my USC school year after I came back from Singapore. Uh, and uh, yeah, I had no idea that dance was anything I'd get involved in. I started taking it at USC simply because it was... Um, offered it as a gym sort of alternative, and I couldn't really get anything else other than that, or gymnastics, and the gymnastics was a little weird, so I was like, let me just see what this dance thing is all about. Um, yeah, I didn't, I did not want to be on front, in front of camera at all. That wasn't my calling. Um, but, uh, but eventually it became so easy that I was, you know, how could I say no? It was like <laughs> making good money, working with friends, working with people that I, that I loved, and, um, yeah, it was, yeah, I fell into it. Um, not to say, I always like to be the best at everything I do. So even though I fell into it, I was still trying hard to be the best at even the things I fell into, if that makes sense. Um, did your parents encourage you, and when was your first big break? My parents did not encourage me at all. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> You know, the one thing she did, my mom did encourage me with was gymnastics. You know, I, I was at a park one day and I saw this girl doing a cartwheel and I said, I want to do that. I can do that. Uh, and sure enough, a couple, you know, maybe a year and a half, two years later, she let me enroll in gymnastics. And um, it wasn't until, um, until it got serious that I was, you know, they wanted me to go to uh, train for the Olympics and that sort of thing and live with the coach, all that stuff that they kind of put their foot down and said, um, that's enough, and um, we can't afford the costumes or leotards and uniforms and all that stuff. We couldn't afford it. So um, when I got to dance, it was all scholarship. I never asked them for a dime for classes. Um, even when I tried, to, when I was in middle school and wanted to take tap, they didn't want me to tap, So, but I took it anyways at school for free. Um, and there was, um, I put tacks into my, my shoes and tapped with that. Um, so where there's a will, there's a way. I just did it, you know, completely outside of my parents' sort of approval, I guess. And when I started working, they really were not that happy about it. They're like, "You're going back to school, right? You're going back to college. You're going back to, you know, you know, finish out your your degree." And I was like, "Yeah, maybe." 
Um, but yeah, it wasn't until years and years, like maybe 12 years later, that they finally were like, I'm glad you did what you did, and I'm proud of you. And um, it was a long time before they, they accepted that it was sort of a successful career. Um, let's see. Okay, now we'll go, I'll pause here and set you up for the next one. <laughs>